Number three is a really tricky question because we're gonna, you're going to end up having to use the quadratic equation. I tried it many different ways, and unfortunately, there is no way around it. You have to use the quadratic equation. So to understand this problem, I'm going to first draw it out in the best I can, but let's read it. A rock is thrown horizontally from a cliff with a speed of 15 meters per second. It falls half the height of the cliff in the last three seconds of its fall. What is the total fall time? So you have your rock that is being thrown out, and after it's thrown out, it's going to take a path and look something like this. And it'll land somewhere off away from the base of our cliff. And our setup needs to say that this, somewhere in the middle, well, exactly in the middle, the time that it took to go from this point down to here was three seconds. And the time it took to go from this level down to here, well, we don't know what that time is. But what we do know is that the, that is the total time, which I'm going to call capital T, minus three seconds. And let me go ahead and since I'm on, since I'm doing this, the total time from here to here, I'm just going to label that as a capital T. Now, as you can see, the height, the distance that the orange portion travels should be equal to the same distance that the this uh, aqua color travels. And I'm going to set up my problem accordingly just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and erase everything and there's I erased it and now I'm going to start the problem. So I start out saying that half the distance, I'm going to start out All right, so my orange, my orange distance, which is the first distance, is going to be half the total distance. And half the total distance is going to be half the, the, uh, the, the equation. The, my regular equation is one half a t squared, but I'm going to use a g t squared, and I want to take half of that, and that's going to be the first portion of the, the first half of that the rock falls. Now my second part, the second half that it's going to fall will equal my initial velocity, but we're going to have to calculate, I'll show you what the calculation is for that initial velocity in just a second. Multiplied by 3, because that takes 3 seconds for it to fall, plus 1 half g, and then the 3 seconds squared. Now, these two values are equal to each other, and in any of these problems you want to try and find two different equations and set them equal to each other and find your unknown to help you find your unknown variable. In this case, we don't know distance, but we do know that half the distance is the same for both of these equations. So this is half the distance, this is the other half the distance. Those two are the same, so these two equations are the same also. So the next thing I'm going to do before I can continue, I've got to figure out what this v naught is. Now understand this v naught is the velocity after the first half of the fall. So I'm going to do that calculation in purple and show you that my velocity, my v naught, is going to equal the acceleration of gravity times the time it took to fall minus 
3 because that's the first half of the fall. And this is going to get plugged in to here. So, and this is going to get plugged into here. So my next portion, now my next problem, I'm going to have to move it everything down a little bit, is to go ahead and plug that in. So I'm going to rewrite my aqua equation, and that's going to say that g times t minus 3, minus 3, multiplied by 3 plus 1 half g times 3 squared. And that's equal to my orange equation, and my orange equation is up here. And I'm just going to rewrite, go ahead and rewrite my orange equation when I uh, simplify this, because this times this is 4, and so I'll say 1 fourth g t squared. So pushing this all of this up and switch to my orange color, that will equal g times t squared divided by 4. And that is equal to my aqua equation, and I'm going to simplify the aqua equation as well. So I'm going to say 3 times g times t minus 3, which is this portion right here simplified, plus, and then 3 squared is 9, so 9g nine, nine divided by 2. <clears throat> and from here, I'm just going to go ahead and solve for t. So, and it didn't quite make it, so everything is kind of separated, so I'll continue. And what I'm going to say next is that the g's can come out of the equation. So this g, this g, and this g come out of the equation. And I'm going to pick a different color because now I've got everything mostly resolved. And I'm going to see if... Uh, I can't move everything up yet. It's Everything's gotten separated. So that messed everything up, but I can, can kind of keep everything together. And I'll make everything else purple from here. So that's going to be t squared over 4 is equal to 3t minus 9 plus uh, 9 halves. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply, just go ahead and multiply everything by 4. And when I multiply everything by 4, what that does is it gets rid of all of my denominators. So I multiply this by 4, and that's going to give me t squared, and that's equal to 3 times 4, which is 12t, minus 9 times 4, which happens to be 36, and then 4 times 9 is 36, and 36 divided by 2 is 18. And see if I can move everything up again. Move this up, move this up, move this up, and then move this up. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to change colors again just so it's easy to follow. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything on the left side of the equation. And when I put everything on the left side of the equation, I'm going to simplify everything and get a nice neat equation. That nice neat equation is t squared minus 12t plus 18, and that's equal to 0. And there's your quadratic equation that you solve for. And the quadratic equation that you need, I'm going to go ahead and delete some of this stuff because we don't need it anymore. Delete that. And move this up. And my quadratic equation happens to be 
minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, rather than plugging it in and showing you all of that, because I've already talked for 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that my final answer, final, final answer, came out to be 10.25 and 1.73. Well, I know my answer has to be at least more than 3. So that leaves this. This answer is not possible. So my final answer is 10.25 seconds. And that is my answer for question number three.